This is how you turn a Revit model into something that speaks design. Not just clean lines and shadows, this is a crafted, intentional presentation style that architects will notice. And I'll guide you through every step of it. So, first thing we need to do is to choose a color because this one is a monochromatic style. We are going to use just one color but in different shades and saturation. And when you choose it, you're going to apply it to our background. I have selected blue for this video and to use it in my background, I'm going to go to this visual style in graphic display options in the background section, open this part and select this sky. Or you can go with this gradient, it doesn't matter which one. Then we're going to go to one of these sections Click on one of these empty slots and then choose your color. I will use a very light blue for my background because on the main part, on all of these elements, we're going to use a darker blue. So I'm going to select my color, something like this, a little bit gray, a little bit blue, something between them. And then I'm going to click on this add because we are going to use this later too. I'm going to click on OK and select the same color for all of these parts. OK, then apply and click on OK. It is a little bit darker than what I expected. If you want, you can change it later to the exact color that you want the same way. After this, I'm going to select this whole view, OK, all of it. And then we're going to use this override graphics in view. I'm going to use this one because everything that we apply to this view will stay only in this part and it will not affect the other views that we have in this part, okay? Also, if you want to undo everything and reset this view, you're going to just use this simple bottom in here, okay? I'm going to start with the surface pattern and I will select a darker blue. Again, select an empty slot and then select the color that you want. Again, I will add a little bit more gray and then I'm going to increase this color, make it a little bit darker. If you want it to be more blue, if you want it to add a little bit green, you can go between these parts and I'm going to simply select it in here. Then click on this add and click on OK. To apply this color to patterns, to surfaces in all of these sections, you also need to choose a pattern. I'm going to choose this solid fill because I don't want to change the patterns. As you can see, we have this brick pattern in here. We could add a lot of different patterns for our floor or different parts. For now, I'm going to select this solid fill. After this, I'm going to go to this project lines and in here, we're going to apply the color for all of these lines that we have in here. I will use this white color and click on OK. For some parts, you can change the weight, you can change the patterns, but overall, I'm going to apply this to all of these parts. And if I want to change any specific element, I'm going to choose it later and change it the same way okay i'm going to click on apply and okay and this is what i have it looks good it is a type of presentation that we can use sometimes and you're going to work on it a little bit more so as you can see every part of this space is looking the same we don't have any highlight we don't have any like um unique section in here we are going to create it we're just adding different colors for example it could be a different color for these sections it could be different a pattern for this wall or any other thing for now i'm going to select these parts because this is my main idea and i want to highlight it also all of these sections okay if you want you can like select this contour too or any other section then i'm going to go to override by element and in here i will change this color i can apply another color maybe white maybe something in like 
another section of this palette maybe something orange maybe something a little bit more red but let's just use the same color so i'm going to um, maybe use some colors like this very light blue and i'm going to click on ok if you want you can also change the color of these lines you can go with like black color you can go with a little even darker blue or any color that you want i'm going to click on ok and i think also we can do another thing i'm going to select the same elements and in here i will add a little bit more transparency maybe 20 percent and click on ok okay let's try another color for the lines because i feel like it could look much more better I'm going to select them again go to override by element and in here let's go with maybe black like this click on ok and ok again if you want you can also change the weight of these lines too i think this way it looks much better okay now another thing that i usually use for all of my presentation is in this part graphic display option i have explained this a thousand times in my channel and in here you are going to just make the graphic the basic graphic of your view much better so to start we're going to check this smooth lines with untilizing after that we are going to go to shadow section i usually check both of these but since this is interior and i have hide the roof i'm not going to check it because the lighting will be unnatural and i don't want that after that we are going to go to a sketchy lines check this for both of these parts i recommend when you have like thin lines thin sections like these parts don't add jitter that much it will look not that good okay but if you want you can add extension um, over two or three okay and then for the rest of these parts depending on the color that you have used depending on the lighting if it is exterior if it is interior you can change them i'm going to apply and click on okay perfect you can see the difference in here now the next thing that you can do is to apply patterns for these parts let's try one of them for example for this wall i want to apply a brick pattern for these two sections so select one of them go to the edit type and do a structure section go to material and in here we are going to apply the pattern we want to the graphic section the reason that we are doing it this way is to be able to apply the model pattern to our surface if you go to pattern section in foreground click on this part switch to model you can see the patterns in here that will stay on your surface no matter the angle you are in okay i'm going to use this break i will add a little bit more scale in here i'm going to go with 1.5 okay and for its color we're going to go with white for the background color i'm going to use this solid fill click on ok and for its color i will select the same color we used before and just simply uncheck this part and apply the color for this shading section too okay click on ok and ok and ok if you can see the um, pattern on your surface is because we have used this override section before go to this part and simply click on this reset click on ok and now you can see your pattern in here because we reset it we have these black lines in this part i'm going to select it go to this override by element and change the color of these lines switch to white click on ok and okay again perfect and now for the last part i'm going to lock my view select a good angle for your project and then in here you can see this unlock or lock 3d view i'm going to click on this part and save this orientation and lock the view this will allow us to add 
any annotation that you want to this view assign a name for that and okay now even if you want to rotate you are not able to do that then if you go to annotate section you will see that some options are unactive in here they are grayed out and because of this we are going to use this model line and in here we're going to create a border for our view i will not change any line style or color because we are going to use this option again later so i'm going to just create my lines in here make sure they are straight i mean it could be a little bit tricky but i will try my best to create them the way i want then the last line in here okay and after this i will select all of them go to this override by element and in this part for the color i will select this white color or any other color you can go with even darker blue and for the rate let's go with five for its pattern i want to use this center lines or dash lines let's go with this center line and click on ok perfect it looks good and after this i'm going to just simply create some other type of lines from this part to here for example from this section to here maybe a little bit to left okay and some more for example to this part another one to here and then i'm going to select them all and again we are going to go to override by element in here i will select the white color for them change the weight to maybe three maybe two and for their pattern let's go with aligning line or dash lines i think this one is good and click on ok if you want to have a clean presentation you can create a line this way or just simply copy this down here and then align all of them with these lines this way like this and in here okay and then delete this line and then this way you can create some circles in these parts and add the pictures of these different sections for example one for this chair that we have one for this area one for this part and another one for this arch that we have in this section okay if you want to create circles in this part or any other shape there is this trick that you can use if you go to architecture and use this model line if you create circles it won't look good because we are in perspective but the thing that you can do is to use this ellipse i'm going to create it from this part to here and then create it the exact way that you want it is again a little bit in perspective but it looks much more like a circle then we're going to copy this for other parts too this way move them down in here and in this part in here too select all of them and change their graphic in here apply a color and then the weight on tree and for the pattern i'm going to use the same dash lines i'm not sure which one we use but let's go with this one click on ok and that's it now if you add images to these parts like colorful images you don't need to like highlight or um, make these sections bigger add some images that have colors this way you will have a perfect presentation showing every part and also showing details in the best possible way so thank you so much for watching until now and i will see you next time